What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. We are back today working on the 52 volt Razor MX650. Still trying to chase that 40 mile an hour goal with it. We are currently 7.2 miles an hour short with the top speed. So I got a couple things in the mail this week that'll hopefully help out, get us closer to that goal, or at least help us diagnose what's going on with it. So I got myself a Bluetooth module from Electro & Co. So we can at least connect to the Kelly controller and check out the settings, see what changes we can make to the tune to make it a little less limited, or just at least diagnose, see what's going on with the bike. And then I just got a refurbished Samsung tablet since these Bluetooth modules or dongles only work with Android devices. I only have iPhones and MacBooks in the house. So I got this specifically to be able to mess with my bikes that have Kelly controllers. And then I just got a 15 tooth sprocket in case we can't get any more RPMs out of the motor. We were replacing my 13 tooth with a 15 tooth so we can at least get more rotation out of the rear wheel to get us closer to that higher top speed. Now, this is not a recommendation since this is gonna put a lot of load on the MY1020 motors, especially if you're going uphill. This is simply for experiment. Hopefully we can get that 40. Luckily, I have my Kelly controller installed above the battery, so it's easy for me to access this four pin connector. And then the Bluetooth dongle simply just clips onto it. Now let's go over the software that we're gonna be using to make some changes on the Kelly. I already downloaded it ahead of time. It's called DC Adjuster. We're just gonna open that up. Do not twist the throttle or try to run your bike whenever you have this app open and connect it to the Kelly controller. All right, so let's key on. Plus, yes, continue, Bluetooth. You'll see that the Bluetooth dongle is flashing when it's keyed on. That does not mean it's connected. Then we're gonna click connect here. I already connected to this and paired it with Bluetooth on this tablet. So it comes up HCO6. Connecting. All right, so it says Bluetooth connection failed. It's just glitchy sometimes. So let's try that again. Connect. HCO6, connecting. All right, now it says connected. You'll notice that the Bluetooth dongle stopped flashing. Now we're gonna click read. It'll pick up the data. Now I just wanna make this very clear. I'm not a tuner, I'm not a professional. So please don't ask me what settings you should have on your bike. I'm just simply a dude on the internet sharing what I'm doing with mine as an experiment. So it looks like max speed's already been set to 100 prior, so I don't see any reason to change that. One thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna change the max current per from 33 to 40. Again, this is an experiment. Please do not do this to your bike. I'm gonna click right, which should program the controller. It says data writing is complete. So we're just gonna check that again. Read, it saved this 40. And just to play it safe, let's go exit out of this thing, key off. And just to confirm that the settings saved, let's key back on. Open up the app. Not running, Bluetooth. All right, click connect. Now it's connected. Now let's read the data. And it saved at 40 max. All right. Looks like we are all set. Now I'm gonna swap out the sprocket from a 13 tooth to a 15 tooth. Hopefully I don't need to extend the chain. So all you need for something like this is just a 10 mil and a 12 mil. The 10 mil is to hold the shaft in place and the 12 mil is going to break this nut loose. What's interesting about these is it is reverse thread. So you turn clockwise in order to loosen it. All right, let's hope there's enough slack in there. Just enough. 
you'll notice that the new sprocket's significantly bigger, but there's still enough slack in the chain. It's not wound up too tight, so I don't need to extend it. Again, it is counterclockwise to tighten it. There it is. This, the freewheel on this bike is starting to make some noise though, so I might change this rear sprocket setup in the near future. Ooh, that does not sound good. Has nothing to do with the front sprocket, it's actually the freewheel for the rear sprocket. Still works, but it makes some noise intermittently. Probably messed something up while I was doing that massive burnout the other night. Just got me a new pair of riding gloves. Fresh pair of foxes. Fifty-eight volts charged enough. GPS is working now. Thirty nine point one miles an hour. I can't believe we're less than one mile an hour short. All right, guys, we haven't quite hit the 40 mile an hour goal yet with the bike, but we are super, super close. This is definitely the fastest the 52 volt MX650 has been. And I'm pretty happy with where it is right now, though I do want to finish up a couple of details before I take it on some trips this coming weekend and next week. I'm actually going to Dirt Days in West Virginia, Kentucky border this weekend. I rented a Kawasaki side by side and I'm doing the Hatfield McCoy trail with my wife for a couple days So stay tuned if you want to keep up with that But if you enjoyed today's video do me a favor and hit that like button And if you want to keep up with this project or my 72 volt bike or any of my other projects consider subscribing to this channel But this is gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching